welcome back to my channel today if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jordan and I'm so happy you're here I make videos on beauty health and Jesus content so I really hope you'll stay and subscribe today's video as you saw before this little intro I am in a very big decluttering mood as I mentioned in my last declutter that I uploaded very recently there is a really big reason behind why I am decluttering so much like how much I've decluttered <laughs> over the summer and past I have to get this done and something I really 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 want to talk about but I just don't think it's the right time yet but within the next couple months I definitely will be mentioning it stay tuned for that especially after Tati's beauty video and I mentioned this in my last declutter too about expired makeup I'm like I, I just need to get rid of so many things in my collection that I hadn't gotten rid of in my other declutters from the summer did a lot of declutter videos there's just so so much that I'm like you know what it's old I just gotta let it go it's a really big declutter so I really like the way that I filmed my last declutter I love watching decluttering videos of people like grabbing things and all that like that's satisfying to watch but editing it is not the most fun like honestly it's really boring and I love editing so that says a lot for me to say that so what I am deciding to kind of switch up how I film decluttered videos is I will film me grabbing and putting things away and all that but I want to actually sit here and talk you through the products and I think even in my past declutter videos when I'd be like talking about them even just editing videos myself doing that I'm like when is this video going to end and I know that sounds harsh editing them it's not the most fun regardless of them doing super well on YouTube I think me showing me actually decluttering them before I do my intro can just give you that kind of content that people really want I don't know how to explain it but I hope <laughs> I'm getting the point across I just really loved how I filmed that other declutter video even though in that one I didn't like show me grabbing things but I wanted to do that for this video so I have a bucket full of products I need to declare I just filmed an empty video but here here's my bucket and it's oh my gosh it's heavy it's really really heavy this is a lot of makeup I would say most if it's old but if it's not if I like look at them like okay that's actually not that old I got back on mercari.com and I'm selling some of my clothing there again like also decluttering clothing too and I've always been a really big advocate for donating in this situation I just need to sell some of these things and I know a lot of people sell makeup on Mercari so if I find that something is not old and it was gently used or not used like I'm going to sell it on there so I'm going to put my Mercari link in the description box so in case any of you are looking for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts or whatever the case may be or something you want to buy for yourself please check it out I am new to this website I've been a member since 2020 I'm just figuring out how to use it I have one item on there right now and I did put it as like a local setting local shipping so any of y'all have best practice for the app please let me know because I need the help for that Poshmark hasn't ever really done it for me so that's why I'm going towards Mercari very excited for that but yeah a lot of these are old so I most likely won't be selling them unless I find a gem in here without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> Maddie Ziegler the imagination palette just want to preface I love this palette I've definitely mentioned this in other videos so it's hard for me to let this go and it's not like it's super old it's only two years old I got it in 2020 it's not claimed as vegan but there's no carmine in any of these shades so for me when I see brands do them like why not just say it's vegan this one doesn't say that it's vegan but there's no carmine which is awesome so there might be like something else in there i don't know carmine is really the only issue for me as far as my products go but it is a beautiful palette and butterfly fantasy is my favorite shade i need to find a shade that looks exactly like this but in a single version because it's so good it's one of those shades that even though it's pretty close to my skin tone it can just brighten up any look in my inner third i did that this past week or the week before because I put some darker shadows on I'm like no it's just too dark for me I need to lighten it up and I took a fluffy crease brush dipped it in there and then I just did a swoop and a swoop and it literally changed my entire look just by that one shade and I was like 
oh my gosh but also i was keeping this palette for that one shade because there are these more colorful eyeshadows those are really good but i was also trying out some other ones these warmer tones over here these sparkly glitter like shades those are definitely toppers like you are not gonna get pigmentation from that it's a topper but it's not the kind of topper that i expected it to be there's just not much to it like i was digging my finger in the to the moon shade and i put on my eyelid i'm like where did it go like nothing showed up on my eyelid but it was off my finger it was really weird again it's a great palette i think if you're starting off with makeup this palette would be great for you i know she came out with another palette recently and i was thinking about it but i'm just like again in big decluttering mode butterfly fantasy that is like the best shade in this palette in my opinion it's a great palette but i'm only keeping it for one shade it's not really worth in that sense you can tell how much I use it because the back is so dirty. This is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. I'd gotten this a while ago in Ulta Gratis. And I think it worked for me. I'm also just not into primers anymore. I haven't been for almost two years, maybe. I use my Dr. Dennis Gross Wrinkle Defense Sunscreen. He has two and they look exactly the same, but one is just slightly different. One is wrinkle defense and dark spots but then the one i have is just wrinkle defense that is my favorite sunscreen of all time it works so well but it works so well underneath makeup so since i started using that i don't need a primer i noticed if i try to put a primer over that it just doesn't really mix that well together i've tried different primers with them like I'm just gonna use my sunscreen because this works perfectly this i'm sure if i can remember right this is a good primer just not for me this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye illumination this is a little deluxe size sample size this version this pink patching you can only get this out for it so it's not available at ulta this was in a shade medium so it was not the shade for me but i did try it when i was self tan i think it was actually a little like little teeny tiny bit too light for me which i was shocked my self tan skin is medium so it was like one of those head turners. I was like, what? Like, how does that make sense? It doesn't really make sense to me. But like, I loved the way it looked on my skin and felt on my skin. I was like, I would buy a full size of this if I can find my shade. I can't wear that right now, but it's a great product. These two are my mom's, which is two of the Dermablend Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer one in 15C and one in 15N. I'm assuming she just had these for a long time. Pretty similar in shades, but they're just slightly different. Like one is obviously more neutral, one's more cool, so I can really see that difference putting them next to each other. I don't know how long she's had these for, but she decluttered them. I just don't think the formula works for her and maybe not the shades either. Here's an Oh, this is pretty. Here's another one of her products. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Power and Luminous Light. Some of these products I know her thoughts, some of them I don't, but if I can guess, I think this is just too dark for her skin, but that's really pretty. Oh yeah, that would even be too dark. For, I don't think you could even really see it. I have it right along here, but even that would be too deep on me. I would, yeah. No, that wouldn't even work for me either, but I think it's just old as well. This is the Becca Vanilla Quartz Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is a little mini size. This is a good highlighter. She can pull off pink highlighters and ones like this where it has a pink shift to it. I've tried this on me. It's just not... I think this was hers and then she gave it to me to try or just keep. I was just like grabbing everything I know that like I was not using so I don't know if this came from my bathroom or not. Anything with a pink shift and a highlight it's pretty but it doesn't look the best against my skin tone like it just I don't know how to explain it but it's not my favorite kind of highlighter shade I guess. I do have one from Givenchy that I really like that is like a, it's like a really light pink. It's like a white gold. I don't want to explain it, but it is beautiful and that one works. This is a Pat McGrath Labs product. The writing is almost off. I'm assuming she didn't like it or it's old. I'm not sure. Here is another one of her products, the Alliston Skincare Ultra Nourishing Moisturizer with Trihex Technology. I didn't even know she had this for one. I have to like bring the product so far back. I don't know what it is about this ring light. I love it, but it like blows everything out once I like bring it closer. This is also one of our products, but was in my bathroom for a very long time. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and Translucent. I will say this is a good powder, but for my skin, it didn't work. I don't know if it's more of like a face setting powder, but when I did try this, I used it for under my eyes because if I'm looking for a setting powder, I started setting my whole face recently because I realized that 
it's working for me right now, but then always work for me. So when I'm looking for a setting powder, it's usually just for underneath my eyes. When I did try this underneath my eyes, it's like it worked for like a day. All the other times I tried to use it, it just like really creased underneath my eyes. I'm like, I, I can't use this, but I think maybe if you use it as a regular face setting powder, I think that would be a really good powder to use. <laughs> this was in one of my last declutters and I was like, yeah, I'll keep it, but it's still sitting there. I just had this like revelation. I'm like, I am not going to use these lashes. These are way too dramatic for me. I don't even wear lashes. I was just keeping them for like a special occasion. These are too much for me. So these I would sell because like I haven't even opened these. That was actually a free gift. This is another Becca product. There might be some Becca product in here. Ooh, this is pretty. Light chaser highlighter for face and eye. I mean, I wouldn't be able to use it for my eye. I'd use it for my face, but this was my mom's. It's a really pretty shade and you can't get back at anymore, unfortunately. It's <sighs> just something about a light pink, but that would be way too deep on me. And then I just assume it was deep on her too. This foundation, this was hard to let go. I do actually need to buy myself a new one. This I'd gotten in Ulta gratis. It's the Cosmetics for Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. Water light, medium coverage, natural radiant finish. This foundation I think is so underrated. They have so many shades in this foundation for one this shade it's light cool 20 right now it's too dark on me but when i am in my summer skin and maybe i'm not self tanning but my face is a little bit tan just from the sun i can definitely wear actually no i think i did wear this a little bit when i was self tan like maybe in the beginning part of the season but a tiny bit too deep for my skin and sometimes i do pick foundations well i want them to match my skin of course but i am okay with a tiny bit of a deeper one because i notice if i get something that's so close to my skin tone even though it may look good and obviously you want it to match your skin it can wash me out so i'm okay with getting like just a little hint of a deeper shade but i think this is just like it's a noticeable difference between my face and next i wore this out in public class I looked in the car mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, why didn't anyone tell me that my face doesn't match my neck? It looked orange. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I just got into Sephora too. I didn't even notice the car mirror. It's like the true test. Anyway, this is a beautiful foundation. This actually does last on my face like all day long. I usually go for full coverage foundations, but this is medium coverage and I think you can build it up a little bit more to a full coverage if you just put on like one or two extra layers, depending on your preference, but beautiful beautiful foundation i love that foundation so much so that's why it was hard for me to let go because i love it but it's definitely a little old and the shade i just need to get a different shade even when it does match my skin that shade is like spot on it's so good this is the Too Faced born this way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation oil free i'd got this sent to me from influencer last spring and although it looked amazing on my skin and it's also in the shade swan it was a spot on match they just got that literally from a survey that i had taken and i was like oh i think i'm like the shade and sometimes they'll show pictures pick which shade you think matches you best they got this shade spot on like it didn't even wash me out either i don't recall but unfortunately it broke me out and it wasn't like just a one-time thing it was like multiple times whenever i put this on which sucks because like it looked so 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 good on my skin and it felt great I didn't even feel like foundation i don't know what is in here that made my face break out but it's a great foundation if you haven't tried it yet also like me breaking out from products that doesn't happen very often so i'm not saying there's bad ingredients in there it's just something in there that my skin did not like for some reason this is the nars laguna bronzer Pretty sure everyone and their mother had this bronzer back in the day back in the early youtube days i got this for ulta gratis and i remember i wanted this one so bad because it's an expensive product so i didn't want to buy it myself and i knew when i was working at ulta i was getting a discount anyway but just something about them like nah i just i don't know so i'm really glad i got this for free but it's actually not the right tone for me unfortunately a little bit too deep a little too orange against my skin tone so i've barely used this i think i've only used this like once or twice but i've had it since 2019 i want to say so i don't know if it's one that i would sell because it's very gently used but i've also had it for a few years i don't know how to make a decision based off of that stila shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow in 
Freedom. You definitely saw this in my last declutter. I said I was going to try it. Maybe I did once or actually, I don't know if I even touched it. Like it stared me in the face, but I was like, no, I'll try that next day. The next day would come and like, no, I'll try that another time. It was a huge cycle. So you know what? This is kind of old. Probably not going to use it. I love the concept of liquid eyeshadows, but being realistic, I'm most likely not going to use them. Unless it's a formula that I really, really, really like, which I'm still trying to find. Origins Ginseng SPF 40 Energy Boosting Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 40. If you are self-tanning or you just get tan naturally, this tinted moisturizer is amazing, 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 amazing. This is my go-to product in the summertime when it comes to makeup. I would love to use this all year round, but I do have to use it when my face is tan because it's a sheer tint release, but even then, if I put on my face, my face would be orange, but when I'm self-tan, it works amazing. I use this almost every day, and I would even wear it when I went out with friends, and it stayed on my face, like I didn't sweat off of my face. I think this is so underrated. I've definitely mentioned this quite a number of times on my channel, but you guys seriously need to try it. Just be mindful if you're around my skin tone, fair, light. This may not work for you, but if you have a medium or deeper skin tone, it's definitely gonna work for you. If you wanna just use this as your summer product, it's amazing. Love, love this. And I did repurchase that. It's not quite an empty, that's why it's in here. It's almost gone. This is the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. What's this called? Just Fluid Sheer in shade number two. This is more like a primer. I don't know if I've actually even tried. No, I have tried the Hollywood Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This might not be as intense. I mean, I tried that Charlotte Tilbury product like a while ago. This is just not the product for my skin. Like whenever I've put this on, I almost feel like I can't put foundation or tinted moisturizer on top of it because when I have everything pilled, you need to have really, really, really good skin in order to wear this alone. It does have some shimmery. It's not like when you look in the bottle, you have to look hard for it, but when you actually put it on your face, it's more radiant. So I wanted this work. I did not buy this. This was my mom's and she just gave it to me to try, but it's really old. Another product that my mom gave to me to try, and I don't think I ever tried it, but I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try that. And then a year later, I still haven't. You can't get this product anymore. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's their Limark Lip Cream Lipstick 2018 in Clara. Beautiful shade, but I think even maybe the finish is matte, and I'm just like not into matte finishes for the lips. Sometimes I can pull them off, sometimes I can't. That's a shade, and it's really pretty, but so really old. Once I finished watching Tati's video, I immediately thought of that lipstick and I was like, oh, that's gotta go. This was a little hard, but then I was like, no, it's old. This is the Fiona Styles the Soft Cheek Veil in Sweet Water. One of the only blushes that I've ever hit pan on. <laughs> I mean, it is tinier, but still, like, it's hard to hit pan on powder products, especially, and really any products for that matter. This is a beautiful blush. I did retry it last winter and maybe the winter before. I don't know if it was just because it was getting old, but like it wasn't doing anything for me as it once did. I've had this for like eight years. I don't know. It's been a long time. It's, it's been a long time since I've had this and I'm like, I don't want to put that on my face, but I want to preface. There's still some products in my collection that are older but they're not breaking me out so I don't want this to be an all or nothing mentality of these products I know yeah they're old I have not been using them the other products I'm still using and still trying to get through these had to be decluttered anyway super old it's very pretty shade this is the bare minerals complexion rescue hydrating foundation stick I have birch 1.5 and I have Opal 01. Opal 01 is my shade, matches my skin to a T, but doesn't wash me out. I really love this product, but it only works for me during certain times of the year. With this tinted moisturizer, yeah, it's probably gonna sit for like a year, but it still works for me, doesn't break me out, and this doesn't break me out either. Just, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it does have an expiration date. Yeah, this one expired in 2021. That's good to know. These are very, very emollient formulas so that might be why and bare minerals is more natural as you know these did create a beautiful look on my skin they're really really good the shades i would say birch 1.5 that might match me at some point but i would say opal 01 is like my go-to shade love those products but i just don't know if i'm gonna repurchase them i was a little shocked at myself for decluttering this because it's like my go-to blusher in the winter time but i even remember using it last winter and it just wasn't doing it for me, but it's also really old too. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. It's in the shade Exposed. Definitely some hard pan on here, and I have had this for so many years. Besides the hard pan, it looks like I've barely used it. I would use this every day for a year, maybe. 
maybe not a year but very close to a year how it looks like i didn't even use it which is so weird the shade i think was starting to fade i'm like it's not doing anything for me next is benefit dandelion twinkle when this shade came out everyone flipped out and I understand why it is so pretty and it does look like it would go for my skin tone right now it only worked for me when i was tan and then i would think like well i mean it is a lighter shade so it should work for me during the colder months but it didn't which was weird like it really looked gray on my skin so can't use that that's pretty old as well this one i mean i shouldn't have any regrets but like this one i do regret purchasing it's the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator Medium Coverage Up to 24 Hour Wear in 20 Fair. I should have returned this when I had the chance, but to be honest, I was lazy because I bought it at Macy's and I don't normally buy makeup at Macy's and I just usually buy makeup at Ulta and Sephora, but I don't know, I was just at Macy's and I'm like, yeah, why not? And I've heard good things about it. This does not stay on my face. I've tried it with a primer. I've tried it without a primer. I've tried it without my sunscreen. I know that's bad. I've tried it without, I've tried it with, and this only lasts on my face for like three hours. So for me, the up to 24 hour wear claim is not right for my skin and when i would put it on it didn't make my skin look that great i was just like oh i really want to take this off right now but i wore it to some of my work days last year and i'm like i can't take this off it was not a confidence booster i'll just put it that way i wanted to like that but it didn't work for me this is a pat mcgrath lip balm in clear lip fetish lip balm really cute little packaging this little mini sample it's almost gone i really liked it but it's just old and i just don't use lip balms but that would be one that i would purchase in the future if an opportunity presented itself this is the tarte shape tape glow wand in sunbeam i got this in an ultra gratis in 20 in no 2019 i think 2020 wait one of those years it's a really good product if you want to wear highlight but you don't like the glitter like i do <laughs> you just don't like sparkle you're just like no i'm just more natural you can even use this as a highlighting base just to lay something down on a skin and then have a little extra radiance there when you put on your actual highlight we're gonna just wear this alone but as someone who loves blinding highlights this to me didn't really fit my makeup style but i did use it for a long time i can see streaks in the darks so, like i used it a lot i think i would have actually used this product up because it is a really good product it just kept sitting there there's no point in it keep sitting there this is my mom's product but it is the same Givenchy highlighter I was mentioning earlier but this is a different shade and every single time I look at this I just want to display it I remember I did used to be able to try out the shade and I think I was like super self tan so that's why it worked other than that like I cannot wear the shade and it's so dark <laughs> my mom and I and it just sucks because I actually don't know if they make the shade anymore but it's the tent couture shimmer powder in 02 shimmery gold I have 01 in the shimmery pink <sighs> this is actually I'm going to zoom you in because there's an imprint on this and y'all need to see this it's gorgeous actually I can swatch it for you no you'll definitely see that one hopefully it's just oh my gosh maybe the camera's not doing justice but it's beautiful I don't want to display this but like I'm not gonna use it I would love to use it for my eye but I don't know the ingredients I don't know if that like would have carmine in it as far as face products goes like carmine does not bother me just the eyes I mean that was my mom's but even just like, looking at it, I'm like I don't want to get rid of that <laughs> this is a little bit too close yeah okay so this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, and photo-friendly in the shade Almond. You can't get this foundation anymore. They sadly discontinued it, and everyone was really upset, <laughs> including myself, when they decided that. I don't know who decided that, because it's like one of the best foundations I've ever tried. Anyway, I only have the shade Almond because I got this during a year when I was like self-tanning a lot, and that was years ago. Even though I've self-tanned this past summer, I've not been able to get my face to the shade that like where this was able to match me i've kept this because i thought okay well when i do get tan or self tan i can mix this in with something else but this is like a very particular formula and consistency that i don't know if it would really 
mix well with other foundations. I'm not quite sure. I just didn't try it out, so I guess I'll never know. It hurts to get rid of this, even though I'm not using it. I do have one more backup of this foundation in my shade, which I need to use this winter. This is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil in Original. I don't know if this is supposed to be used more as like a face powder, but I use it for underneath my eyes, and I've heard people use it underneath their eyes, but maybe it is for the face. This creased on me like crazy. So I'm really glad that this was a deluxe sample size. This is the Il Maquillage Ink Liner. I haven't edited and uploaded the video yet and I filmed it in the spring. I tried their very famous foundation and it was a disaster. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really even want to upload that to YouTube. <laughs> but I did get this product for free and this did not work either. I think it dried out. I don't know how old this was when they sent it to me but there wasn't much product coming out i couldn't even use it i don't know why i kept it another bare minerals product we have seriously red lipstick that's what you name i don't think they make this anymore but i did use this quite a handful of times and as someone who doesn't wear lipstick and as someone who doesn't really wear red lipstick that often either this was my favorite this was a great one Paul's Choice Clear Four Night Oil Free Moisturizer. That's probably why it didn't work for me. It says blemish brown skin, but I wanted to like this, but it broke me out, which is weird based on what it's actually for, but it didn't do much for me besides break me out. Just got that little teeny tiny deluxe sample size recently from Sora, but I'm glad I tried it. This is the e.l.f. camo cream color correcting full coverage natural finish broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen influencer did send this to me a while ago in the beginning of 2021 this is in the shade fair 120 n if you're curious but this is actually way too light for me i don't really use drugstore products but i will say this was the best drugstore foundation i had tried it looks so good on my skin but then i tried it in the last year it was way too light for my skin and only last time my face for like three to five hours i was a little shocked i think it's supposed to last a lot longer than that i would hope a foundation should last longer than three to five hours my mom said this made my face look like i was wearing a mask and i was like oh maybe i shouldn't be using that i will just preface this is a pretty thick foundation it's supposed to be like a dupe of the a Cosmetics CC Cream. They are not the same, not at all. I mean, that product doesn't work for me either, but I can't use this one. It just doesn't work for me anymore, which is sad because I really liked it upon initial application. Here I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in one, and this was a little hard for me to let go because I've had this for years. It always works for me no matter what time of the year. Maybe not as much summer because I'll be a little bit more tan, but even then I would still be able to make it work. 1N is a great shade. I think it's one of their more popular shades in this formula and it's a lightweight concealer, but it still covers underneath the eye and it's just a beautiful concealer. It's possible I might repurchase this. Actually, I don't even know if I purchased it in the first place. I think my mom gave it to me a long time ago, but I might purchase that in the future. And then I have two more concealers. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I love this concealer, but it's old and i have the shade p light 2 it's a great one cover effects isn't as popular as they once were so i don't know like what's going on with that brand if they still have it or not but if you can get your hands on it, it's a really good concealer this is the hourglass vanish concealer in cream i used this the other day and i love like this one also one of my other favorite concealers of all time i thought i bought this recently but i think it was sitting in my collection for a little too long and it went bad and how you know these go bad is because they start smelling like fish i have encountered that with other shades i've had in this once i smell that i know that it has to go but that will not smell like that when you first buy it it's just when it starts going bad so it's like one of those you just have to use it consistently when you do buy it this is really really old this is the it cosmetics bye bye transforming porcelain beige when i worked at ulta I literally sold this product to almost everyone I encountered because it's literally that amazing. This is so old. It's definitely drying up. <laughs> nope, still smells the same, but it's old. This covers up redness like no other product. Honestly, I don't need it right now. I haven't needed it for like a couple years. And all thanks to Dermalogica, it's taking care of a lot of redness I once had. And I still have some, but it is not nearly as bad as it once was it is really really good right now i don't really need that product anymore underneath makeup too it made those areas that where i had redness it made my face literally or skin literally look 
flawless. Everyone was always asking me like what I was wearing for foundation, but I also mentioned that this was also a really big part of it because it just completely took out the redness. I definitely still recommend that product if you have a lot of redness or rosacea, acne, like it works so so well. This product I didn't use. I said I was going to use it in my last color. Didn't end up doing it. It's First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer, Broad Spectrum SPF 30 in light. I know what this shade looks like from testing it out on other people when I did work at Ulta and it wouldn't even match my face. I thought maybe I could wear this when I was self tan, but then my skin was too tan to try this. Like this would be too light. This is too deep for my skin right now. Oh gosh. I am so sorry to whoever wrote up all these foundations on this bag and it gave it to me, but I literally did not use it. And this has been sitting in my foundation drawer for years. In years. I just had different ones, different Spora foundation samples of the Anastasia foundation in like the rectangular packaging. Two different shades and then I had two other Marc Jacobs ones. Obviously you can't get that anymore. That's hard to let go because I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm totally gonna use that and then I didn't ever. I love this shade. I tried it the other day and my mom really liked it on me too, but it's so old. They don't even sell this kind of product. At least that I'm aware of. This is from Bare Minerals. It's their single blush. If we're also around for that time. It's their Ready Blush in, in a shade, the Aphrodisiac. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I love this shade. For a shimmery blush, which I don't normally go towards, I've been going towards them a little bit more recently. I think if you have a lot of acne, it's not the best blush formula to go for because those little shimmery particles are just going to really emphasize your acne. I don't really have an issue with that. This looks so good and this shade is so beautiful, like so, so beautiful. It's annoying that it's old, but I mean, it also did not break me out. I just need to find a shade like this. I've been really into blush lately. I just forgot one product. It's literally clear. It's a little perfume sample. This is the Calvin Klein Everyone Cologne. It's unisex and I really wish they had this in the travel spray. They literally don't have any travel versions of this. Just the one cologne bottle. This literally smells amazing. I actually used to wear this to the gym, this little sample. Oh my gosh. Great gym scent. Not overpowering, but smells so, so so good. Oh my gosh. Honestly, the bottle looks very masculine, so that's why I haven't bought it. Also, like, I want a travel size so I can just bring it with me everywhere. Instead of the actual full bottle, you need to go smell this in Ulta. It is really, really, really good. I I've debated, but it's kind of expensive. Use your Ulta points for it. I'm kind of preaching to myself there on that one, but definitely use your points for it or if you can get a discount on it that one and that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified on all my future uploads of beauty health and jesus content comment down below any video requests you may have if you've tried any of these products if you like them i would love to start a conversation in the comment section love talking about makeup so why not <laughs> and i hope you have the best day ever i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye